unfortunately there's now two cops there so i gotta get out of here but there's definitely people in here i just look at the my biggest concern is like just look at all the wood here that can come falling down like, uh, wait this is actually made up oh jesus christ yeah. orange caps right there that's a needle this is the last clip i'm gonna get of this prison because i heard somebody cough meaning there's somebody in there what is up everybody welcome back to the video i hope you all have an amazing day as usual if you're new please make sure to like subscribe and always comment down below it really really helps out the videos today we are in newark and uh, we're going to be checking out the old essex county jail the uh, Essex County Jail, the old Essex County Jail is located in the University Heights section on New Street uh, between Nutman Street and Newark Street. So um, this jail was built around the 1800s, I think even before that. And it was one of the, I think it is the, actually the oldest uh, structure in Essex County still standing to this day. Um, it's abandoned. And I'm really surprised that they haven't made it into like a historical place, kind of like the Eastern State Penitentiary in uh, Philly. Um, but the only problem is there are cops everywhere. So uh, there's, there was kind of like a cut in the fence over on Newark Street. And uh, when I was there, there was just a cop just, just sitting there. He's been there for about uh, 20 minutes now. Uh, so my guess is that's where he's, that's where his post is. Um, and there's been, I've just been seeing this NJIT police, because we're in University Heights, I think NJIT is somewhere in this area. Um, and the cop just keeps circling around. So this place is very well protected, although there's no alarm system or anything, so you can get in. And the cool thing is, is that it's completely surrounded by bushes. So once you get in, even just once you step foot in, there's no way anyone can see you. Um, we're gonna go in again actually circle this place went in here there's not really much interesting on this entrance uh what sucks is the part where the fence is cut open looks like there's more stuff there uh but unfortunately that's what the cop is blocking so we'll see that's the uh, njit cop that continuously circles this area uh i think and i think the one that was just chilling over there was probably on overtime it probably needs to make a quota or something so like a lot of security around here. Um, but I think I, I looked and maybe there was an entrance right by where those college students were, but there wasn't. So I'm gonna head back in here and show you guys at least what this area looks like. Um, if I don't get anything else today, I apologize, but uh, it's in Newark, so I can always come back. Although I hate coming here alone. I'm not alone today. So this is not a good area to be in alone. You know, definitely don't wanna walk through here alone. Uh, it just looks like this place is completely falling apart. Like, <sighs> look at this, man. For some reason, I'm stupid, stupid enough to go in here. Thankfully, I got these Tims. It's just, there's not much you can really do in here. Everything is completely falling apart. It's broken glass. Hold on. What's that piece of metal right there? I'm surprised I didn't get scrapped yet. I'm surprised this metal is still standing. <laughs> Looks like this was a horn at some point. So, in case like a prisoner escaped. Oh, Jesus freaking Christ. You gotta be careful. Slippery, all that. Um, yeah, it just looked like a horn. So maybe they uh, blew it when one of the gates was closing or something like that. I don't know. But uh, a lot of brick, as you can see, Brick City, Newark. Um, yeah, I better get out of here before something falls on me. All right, I got to get out of here now because my dad just went back to the car. He circled the block to see if the cop was still there. Unfortunately, there's now two cops there. So I got to get out of here now and not go past those cops again. This bridge right here, the WR draw, that, that would that, this should be a good place for us to, to explore today. Although I can't, I don't have time. But uh, that is on an abandoned railroad track. But they're about to... Uh, restore it into a um bike trail so um i don't know if you could still walk across it i don't think you ever were because last time i was 
last time I walked the old Booten line before they tore it up, uh, it was blocked off with a fence. So, I mean, walking across the Passaic River and McCarter Highway is a death trap. So, it's probably not the safest. Neither is exploring an old jail, but I did it. Look, a Prius actually going fast. Once. What's funny is now we got a uh, slow Prius. Yep. Well, New York drivers in general drive like turtles, so there's that. That's a dude. That's a dude. All right, guys. It is the next day, Sunday. Happy Sunday to all you guys. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the old jail. Um, I figured, you know, just the content I was making yesterday was not good enough, you know. So I'm a little disappointed by that. Uh, if the cops are posted there again, you know, that sucks. But the only problem is, is it's Sunday and I got to take a bus to Newark. The problem is, is it seems like on weekends, New Jersey Transit works around your plans. Like there's no flexibility on weekends. Buses come once an hour. It's like, it's not good. But uh, I will see you guys in Newark. All right, so I'm on my way down there, and um, I'll probably get back by 2.30, hopefully, if everything goes well. Um, I just hate the schedule, especially on Sundays. Saturdays aren't even that bad, but Sundays, they reduce the service like 25% of what it is on weekdays. So it's hard getting any buses on weekends. New Jersey Transit sucks anyways, like, New Jersey Transit is terrible. Like, the buses are literally falling apart. Like, almost half of the buses are literally falling apart. Off the bus, and down into the light rail. I gotta wait probably about another 15 minutes for a light rail to come. And then, there's actually a light rail station right next to the prison, so transit connections are not bad here. Folk Street light rail station and look there is no cop posted here today well, I figure it's Sunday so that's why unless that white dude in the, in the uh, BMW from Maryland is an undercover cop <laughs> I think we're good all right guys I, I put on these utility gloves because there's a lot of wood in there and I don't want to get splinters fortunately there's a car somebody's just chilling in their car doing nothing right now but thank God there's no cops. Let's just walk through. See, this is the much better part to go into because there's actually stuff here. Although there are probably homeless people in here, unfortunately. So we'll see. One thing this place was known for was its architecture. As you can see, there was some architecture, but this place has just been so decayed, so abandoned over time that, I mean, there's just, you can't barely see it. Look at this drop here. This is why I really don't recommend you guys come here. And uh, I think I kind of made a mistake in coming here again. Guys, I just got in. I made sure that everything is, you know, tight and I'm safe to get through here. But there's definitely people in here. No doubt about it. I mean, look at this. This is really not a safe place. I just look at the, my biggest concern is like, just look at all the wood here that can come falling down. Like, if you come here, you're probably gonna need a helmet too. And every time I hear a siren, I get paranoid. But uh, I'm gonna try my best 
to show you guys what I can. A lot of garbage here, as you can see. Yep, somebody's staying in there. I don't know how safe these stairs are. I don't imagine they're very safe. Probably not stable. Even like just the wood is slippery here because of rain. There's broken glass everywhere. But what's impressive here is just that it's still standing. I mean, this place has been going for so long, abandoned for so long, and it's still standing. Apparently this place had a huge, for some reason, Wikipedia mentioned the Newark riots, although I don't think that this place was open when the Newark riots, riots were happening. Um, wow, look at this. I really am amazed I came back. I didn't think, I thought there was going to be a cop there, but I guess not. So I don't know if this is one of the cells. Are these how tiny the cells actually were, or were these like showers? I have no idea. I mean, obviously where the gates would be, the bars is where the cells would be. And I don't know. Yeah, this is not super stable. But uh, I really hope that person that was just sitting in their car didn't call the cops on me. Maybe they didn't see me. I don't know. But, uh, Wait, this is actually made up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm not walking up here anymore. Not after that. Wow, okay. Yeah, definitely not coming up here. No. Um, thankfully, it is a Sunday morning, so my guess is that most cops are not on duty right now. And that's why. But, uh. Look at this, man. The oldest building in Essex County. You're seeing it right here. I believe it's... I don't know if it was the first building in Essex County, but it's probably the, the oldest one that's still standing. People tend to forget, actually, how old Newark is. Newark was founded a year before Philadelphia was. And I think people forget that. I actually don't think anyone actually knew that for that matter. So this is probably the best footage we'll get in here. Um, you just got to watch your back. I'm surprised I'm not seeing more needles. I've seen a couple of orange caps, but I haven't seen a ton. You know, when you see one of these orange caps right there, that's a needle. Most likely for heroin, but it could be anything. Okay, I've got to get out of here. you got to be just safe walking across everything. I'm going to put the camera down for a second, and then I'll go somewhere else. This is the last clip I'm going to get of this prison because I heard somebody cough, meaning there's somebody in there. Um, more than likely, they're just homeless, but might be a drug house, too. People might do drugs back here, so... I'm gonna get out. Somebody coming in. All right, we're good. Wow, <laughs> that was quite an adventure in there. Um, I'm gonna try to turn the audio up on the editor as loud as possible. I was talking very quiet in there because, I mean, if there was somebody in there, which there was, they could hear me. I mean, it's not like I was whispering, but. You know, if I was homeless, I would never stay here. <sighs> there are 20,000 better places you can stay than here. This is probably the worst place you can stay, besides the streets in the middle of winter. Actually, I'd rather stay in the middle of winter if I was bundled up. I mean, New Jersey doesn't get, like, Chicago cold, but, you know. The thing is, it's like, you don't know what's in there. There's wood everywhere, just rotting. There's stone. Anything can fall on your head. That's why I didn't stick around too long. That and the fact that there was a homeless person there. 
but you can still see from the outside, you know, just what they got going on in there. Um, I'm just going to go back to the spot I was in yesterday and show you guys again. Maybe there's somebody back here. Maybe there's not. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go in. But yeah, I think I'm going to finish it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed.